Hey guys, welcome to my craft room tour. Um, I finally got my room clean enough and ready for you guys. It's never this clean. This is the cleanest it's like ever been. Like ever. Uh, yeah, this video was requested by, um, I'm going to mispronounce this, uh, Michelle Galeb, maybe? I hope I pronounced that right. Thank you for the request. It did give me a chance to just clean this room up and get it nice, so it gave me a really good excuse and I'm, I'm glad, so thank you. This is a normal setup. I normally have this table right here. Um, I do most of my work on and shoot videos on because it's clean and empty, whereas the other ones have stuff on them all the time, supplies. So sometimes it's here, and sometimes it's here. It just depends on what I'm doing, and if I need to be able to access supplies that are right here, that if the table's in front of them, then I can get to them. So if I'm doing anything with these supplies, I usually have the table over here. Um, I've shot it, but I've shot videos both ways, so it just depends on the a lot of things on the lighting too like if it's sunny out or if it's at night which I shoot a lot at night usually it's not daytime <laughs> so usually I procrastinate and I'm doing my videos at 11 o'clock at night because that's who I am a night owl so uh, and that's when I'm kind of the most creative too is at night but like right now it's daytime which is kind of different this table is actually just a fold-out table it folds in half and gets really small I'm gonna put it away for the sake of this tour because it's gonna be easier to make around around the room and so I'm gonna put that away and then we'll continue on. Okay, so we're starting at the entrance to my room and I just, I have the table that I just broke down right here with the cutting mat. And then just, I have a piece of foam board here that I just have in, for future use. <laughs> um, up here I have a puzzle of, that I put together a long time ago of the Disney um, castle. I just really like that. So it's just Mod Podge together. Um, here on my door I just have like calendar and like where I like throw things that I just need to eventually put away. Uh, and then I actually have my flute hanging here. I just started playing that again. Um, so it's just hanging out. I don't really have a place for it yet because I just started with it again. Um, when I first come in I have this shelf here. So I'm on, I just, it's just one of those wire shelves. And I'll start with the top here. I have my printer. Um, with some stuff laying on top of it. That's like one thing I didn't finish putting away, but I actually really love this printer. It's a touch screen um, and it's wireless, so I don't have to plug it into my computer. I can print from anywhere in my house, which I really love. And then up here, I just have like a thing that I keep extra um, photo paper and stuff like that. And then I have um, more paper here, colored and white paper. Um, down here, I have like card stocks and specialty papers. Uh, thing I've got the fabric paper and here I've just got like a bunch of scrapbooks much of most of these are empty a few of these are done like this one and this one but most of these are empty just ready to be filled up down here I have two things of ribbon um, this is like the black and white ribbon or just black maybe black and white and then down here is all the colored ribbon here are like cookie cutters down here is actually stuff I have for my dollhouse. It's just full of like miniatures and supplies for my dollhouse, which I'll show you later in the tour. More dollhouse stuff, it's actually just like wood parts and stuff like that. Here is my recycling ink bin. It's kind of dark, but yeah, look at all that ink. I use so much ink. And then down here is just like glass bottles and glass and just random containers that I've saved that I want to use in DIYs. I actually have several DIYs planned for some of these soon. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of like random hoarding stuff there. So that is the shelf. Coming on over here is just my desk. Um, I have my laptop, which I hook up to my little TV here when I'm editing because it's a little easier to edit on a bigger screen. So I hook those up together. Um, I just got some like random, like I've got random wires and cords and stuff like that here. Um, books about blogging and video and Photoshop because I'm really new at this so I'm trying to learn as much as I can about writing and shooting video and stuff like that so I'm learning all that. Here's the stuff that you saw in my last DIY, my gumball maker. Um, and there's just kind of a pan of that top of my hutch there. So that's that. We come on over here and here's my little mini 
trophy that I don't know what to do with. So it's just here for now. Um, stickers, lots and lots of stickers. I eventually plan to reorganize this sometime. I actually have an idea for a DIY sticker organizer. So I'm kind of planning that out right now because I want to reorganize that. Right now they're all just kind of lumped in there together. Um, here are just various like 12 by 12 folders because I use them to organize like scrapbooking projects when I'm working on those, which right now I'm not really working on. I need to get on that though because I'm so behind. But that's kind of how I organize, like I'll just take my paper, I'll pick my papers and my photos and I'll use them to kind of keep everything together. So that's just there right now. But like, I kind of want to reorganize this at some point. Um, down here is just my huge hoard of scrapbooking paper. Most of this is 12 by 12. Um, yeah, so I have lots of options, which I love. Love that. Over here, I'm just going to pan by these bookshelves real quickly. Um, up here at my dollhouse, which is in a constant state of work. It's not done right now. As you can see, the wires are kind of sticking out. Still haven't covered them up. I need to finish wiring. But this has been a project I've been working on forever. I've had this dollhouse since I was about three years old. My grandfather gave it to me. I didn't put it together until I was about 12. And then I remodeled it several times. So... This is actually pretty good. I did a lot of this work last year, um, but I'm just going to do a kind of a quick glance at that because it's not done. And if I ever really get it done um, and perfected, I'll do a, like a really good detailed tour of that. Um, down here, I just have DVDs of things that I like to watch when I'm crafting. I've seen these like a million times. Of course, these are on Netflix now, the Star Trek. But I... Um, so I usually watch these on Netflix now because I bought these before Netflix. Um, and then these I, I, I love to watch over and over. They're just kind of fun to put on in the background. Um, lots of books about crafting here. Um, picture with my friend. Down here I just have some boxes which is kind of random supplies that I really don't want out and about. They're not very pretty. So they're just in these boxes. Um, down here are just my board games. Uh, I don't use them very often. I wish I used them more. I need to have friends over so we can play. Um, okay, this next shelf, I'm gonna. This next shelf deserves a tour all by itself. So I'm just gonna do a quick pan. It's my Harry Potter shelf, and um, I I love this stuff. I haven't um, added to this probably in a couple years, but it's just so inspiring to me. Harry Potter is like such a part of my life. Um, and then down there I have some books, just other books. But yeah, um, I'm going to have to do a more detailed tour of that sometime. If I did a big tour of that right now, this video would be really long. So I'm just going to do a quick pan of this. And um, I'll see about doing like a more detailed tour of that. If you guys want that, let me know and I'll do it. Okay? So on to more crafty stuff. So over here, as we move into this table... Um, I'm going to close. This is kind of glary. Okay. So over here I have um, embroidery floss um, stored in this thing, which I th think you've probably already seen a video of me making that because I'm planning one. I don't know which order I'm going to put these videos out in yet. <laughs> but I'm... If you haven't seen this DIY yet, it's coming. But... Um, yeah, so I have my floss there. This is like one of those egg things you can put your iPhone in and amplify sound. And here I just have like sewing stuff, um, bobbins, and it's just kind of disorganized down here. And this one is patterns and stuff like that. So that's those. Then I have my pins that I made, um, extra chalk. Um, I use it for sewing and things like that. I also use it to write on any chalkboard that I do have. Um, ribbon, scissors, I've got my, um, this is my rotary, and then I have my good sewing scissors, and then just a couple pairs of just kind of regular scissors, but they're still like pretty good. And then I have my thread back here, lots of thread. Lots and lots of that. And then my sewing machine, of course, which I love my little brother pink and purple sewing machine. It's very basic, but it does everything that I want it to for now. Um, someday I'd like to upgrade to a more fancy one, but for now this one's fine. Um, right here I just have some stuff, projects that I'm going to try to do soon. Um, blanket, um, maybe a little tote bag. Um, 
that's just there because I don't want to work on it. Um, here I have my cabinet, which is pretty boring on the inside. Um, mostly just like extra tape, stationery, markers, envelopes, my Xeron um, sticker makers, bubble wrap, and shipping supplies because I do plan on hopefully starting Etsy sometime soon. Um, just random stuff, um, extra trash bags, and some extra card stock and stuff like that. So it's just kind of extra supplies that isn't very pretty, so I just keep it hidden in here. And then up here I have um, these little handle drawers that are just full of little craft supplies. Like this one is like clay supplies. Um, this one's like foam stickers and stuff like that that I've collected. This one's um, extra embroidery hoops. Um, this one is like magnets and googly eyes and just kind of random stuff. That one's heavy. <laughs> uh, this one's like paint, um, fabric paint. Like the, the kind that gets all three-dimensional. I don't know. Yeah. And then this one is glitter, glitter glue, things like that. So, you can never have too much glitter. Um, over here on the side, I've got just a couple of things hanging with. I've got my staple gun, another pair of scissors. I swear I have a bazillion scissors. Different rulers and protractors and stuff for drawing. I have my long, big um, yardstick that's real thick and heavy. I love that. Um, coming down here, I have my glue guns and my blow dryer. This is a travel blow dryer that I've had um, for some time, and I love having an extra blow dryer that I can just keep in my craft room. It's a little bit smaller than a typical blow dryer, so I like that, but it works great for helping paint dry faster. I've got my two trimmers, paper trimmers here. This one's 12 inches. This one's a little, um, like 11 or something like that, and it's the kind that slides, so I really like having both of those. This one goes back and forth and this one slides down. Um, I actually always keep my glue guns plugged in um, down here and they're on a power strip that I just turn on and off. And that same power strip is plugged into these lights. So I know that if the lights are on then the glue guns are on. <laughs> That's kind of how I know that so I don't forget to leave them on. Um, but that way I don't have to plug them and unplug them. I use them so often that, and I actually have two. I have one, this one's a bigger one with the wide tip. And then I have a, one with a fine tip. I like having both, um, personally. So that's my two glue guns. Um, one takes regular size glue and the other takes smaller. So I have them both here. Um, and so that way I can kind of see what I have left here and here. Here's all my glue. Um, I have got my glue sticks and Elmer's glue and spray glue and E6000 and Mod Podge and rubber cement and wood glue. I mean, all kinds of glue. So lots of regular glues there. Um, I come over one and you've got my Mod Podge. I've got all kinds. I've got the spray kinds that are like the sealers. Uh, then I've got my matte, my gloss, my hard coat, and the sparkle back here. This is the applicator and the squeegee. Then down here, I've got different kinds of tape. So like these are tape runners. This is my double-sided tape. And then in here, I have like refills of various. I've got my scotch double-sided tape here refills. And then these are the tape runner refills. So you can never have too much of that stuff because I go through it like crazy. Um, so that's those. Um, if you come over here, I've got my washi tapes and my regular just scotch tape on a dispenser. This is my pair of scissors that are um, non-stick, so they make it easier to cut through tape without sticking and getting all gooey and gross. Um, so that's pretty awesome. So the, I love those. And then I got all that. And then down here behind SpongeBob, which inside SpongeBob is just like the keep command hooks and stuff like that and then here I've got just like cotton balls because I'm almost making a mess with paint or something and so I have rubbing alcohol and acetone 
to remove like messes that I've made. So I always have those here and then I just kind of keep that in front of it because I mean, who wants to look at boring cotton balls? And then right here, I just have like little findings. These are little brads um, that are just, I love these, different colors. Um, this is actually empty. And then right here, um, where my two little polymer clay minions <laughs> that are standing guard over all my buttons right here. So lots of buttons. Um, I should probably divide them out by color. I used to have them divided out by color and then I mix them together and now I kind of want to divide them again. I don't know. I can never figure out how to store my freaking buttons. Um, right here I just have four um, tin cans full of pens. I just covered them in duct tape. And then I've just got like my nice like journaling pens here and then Sharpies and paint markers. And then these are like metallic markers with like other art craft markers. And then up here I have flowers. Um, they're just like those like papery crepe flowers that I found. And then my thread, it's like a, the twine, the crafter's twine. So, so that's that. I'm just gonna kind of do a quick pan of all this. I forgot to show you my scissors. So I have all of these, they're diff different craft edge stickers. So, People have asked me, why do you have so many scissors? They're all different. They have different, um, they have different patterns. So to cut edges on paper. So that's why there's so many colors and I just thought they were so pretty. So I hung them up all in a row like that. So that's, that. yeah, they're all different. So I don't have just different colored scissors just for the heck of it. And then up here's my bulletin board with pictures. It's kind of empty. I kind of just have been rearranging it. I've got my VidCon pictures and my VidCon badge and I just, cause it's so fun. Then I have other pictures here. And then up here is another puzzle that I did that I just think is really cute. Oh, hi Pikachu. Creeping. Pikachu's never in the same place twice. <laughs> so there's Pikachu. And then he's sitting on top of just like extra canvases and stuff. I never have a good place to put these. So they're just sitting up here on top of that. And so I'm just going to do a quick pan of that area that I just went over. So you can kind of bring it all together. So there's the sewing stuff and the cabinet, and then here, and then down there. So that's kind of that whole area. So now I'm gonna come below the tables. So down here I have these things here. I've got this trash that I need to take out because it's full. Um, and then this drawer I have um, just like painting supplies. I have my chalkboard paint here because my original container like came apart. So that's my chalkboard paint and extra chalk. And then just like rags that I use when I'm painting. Um, and then a palette there. Um, down here I have yarn, all kinds of colors. Down here is like plastic canvas supplies and things like that. Um, over here, this trash can, I covered it in duct tape because it was so ugly. And then down here I have my like duct tape and um, like just regular like packing tape and um, masking tape, regular duct tape, stuff like that. So that's just mostly tape. And then down here, my sharp stuff, um, punches. So I've got like, I keep some goggles in here in case I'm doing something dangerous. <laughs> extra blades. And here I've got um, one of my X-Acto knives, extra blades that I keep in here. Um, my like pinpoint scissors. Um, this is like a cutting circle tool. So those are all in there. And then I actually have a whole nother set of exacto knives right there. So I've got that. And then this is like a bottle cutter that I'm going to use for doing flat, um, the glass bottle crafts. Um, and then I've got my punches here. Um, it's another like or anyway, all kinds of cutting supplies. And then down here, it's like wood. I have extra wood stuff. Um, I use a lot of this for my dollhouse. But other things too, I've just got regular craft sticks and this is like wood filler that I use on the dollhouse a lot. Um, just random like wood pieces and stuff like that. So mostly wood type stuff. So that is those down here. Okay, so then coming over here to this little thing right here on top, this is like mostly painting stuff. Um, back here I've got like 
art pads like the kind you can use with acrylics and watercolor. These are watercolor sets. Um, all kinds of paint brushes. These are like my big ones and then I've got my little ones. So lots of paint brushes, lots of paint, um, all my acrylics, um, my paint scraper and tool and then some spray paints here. Down here I've got um, like these are actually crayons <laughs> and then I've got like more colored pencils and pastels and um, stuff to secure pastels. Just like drawing supplies and pastels and charcoal and markers and stuff like that. Um, and here's where I keep like scrap pieces of scrapbook paper when I've cut them up and I've got pieces left. I just throw them in here so I can kind of rummage in there if I ever need like a little piece of paper. Down here is just like this is an old DIY that's like a welcome sign for the door for the winter and I didn't have anywhere to put it so it's in here and there's just like more pieces of paper and like little pads of stuff and tags and random and then here's like chipboard decorations for like scrapbooking um I need to use them more they've just been sitting here and here is where I keep all my little tubes of acrylic paint so yeah I'll have a lot of paint um this is actually enamel paint for like painting on glass because I really want to try painting on glass like on like wine glasses and stuff so that's what those are and then this is just regular acrylic paint so lots of options there um down here is all my craft paint so these are all like the craft paints that you just get in the bottles and I just put a dab of paint on top so I can tell what color they are because that definitely helps so that's all those and then these are just like oh my gosh you guys I have so much paint and then down here is more painting stuff I have like drop cloths that I put down on the um, carpet when I'm painting so I don't make such a mess um, another palette I have like my foam brushes and foam like shapes so anyway more painting stuff so that's pretty much that little doohickey here um, as we come up over here, um, and here I just have more like chipboard. Most of these are letters um, in here, like chipboard letters and stuff like that. So if I ever need letters for something, there's a lot of those in there. And this one, it's like felt, foam, pipe cleaners, um, just kind of random like craft supplies that are like a little more like kid friendly, I guess. So if I ever have like my cousins over or in my future like having my nephew you know this will probably be the kind of thing I go for um, over here I have like ribbon and then more um, I have lots of clothespins here because I have my iron that I use um, when I'm sewing and then down here is just kind of like random supplies like right here I have like a bazillion iPhone cases I've made that iPhone case and I just switch them this is one I was given um, but just to decorate and I, I just have extras so I have those. Down here I just kind of have some random stuff like these are like foil and then I have a project I want to do with this wood and these hooks so I'm have that together and down here I've just kind of like random trinkets um, stuff that I want to make some jewelry with um, a clock part I want to make a clock at some point I have so many plans so I have all this stuff down here is shrinky dink stuff I have playing cards. These are the ones I got at the dollar store because I want to start making artist trading cards. I think that'd be so fun. So I have a couple stacks. These were just the cheap $1 playing cards that I want to use as a base for artist trading cards. I just think that'd be really fun. And I'll probably make a video about that if I ever get around to it. Um, over here I have my stamps. Um, just I have all kinds of stamps. And then down here is the inks. So that's those, and then down here is like sewing stuff, kind of, this is like fusible bonding, fusible that I use to iron on. I have it over here because it's close to the iron. So if I'm ever like ironing a hem and I'm doing like a quick hem with the ironable stuff, this is like bondable basting. So you can like temporarily place stuff on, keep it from sliding around. This is like a permanent basting, so anyway, that's those. Um, down here is my, oh, I almost just tripped. Down here is my dresser. It's a dresser I've had a long time. I used to use it in my bedroom, but then I got a new one. So um, this is, I use it for like craft stuff right now. It's like full of fabric. And here, um, more fabric. Uh, this one is a uh, surprise, more fabric. 
And then down here, um, this is like old projects, old um, like Halloween costumes. Um, this is a sewing project that's not done, which I'll probably never finish with like the pattern and stuff. And then down here in this one, it's just like fake flowers and mesh and like I have some random flip flops in here that I was using for a wreath one time. So anyway, it's just kind of random stuff. <laughs> So that is that. Then coming over here, I just have like this old wreath hanging up that I made last summer, which I didn't put out this year. Maybe next year. I kind of want to like, I didn't want to put out two years in a row. So, but yeah, it's just a deco mesh wreath that I made out of a hula hoop. So there's a hula hoop under there and then flip flops and flowers and very summery, but I didn't want to put out two summers in a row. So right now it's just hanging up in here. And then down here, I just have this big bag. This is where I keep all of my like, um, gift bags and um, tissue paper and stuff like that. I just, I really like this bag. It matched my room super well, so I just keep them in there on a hook. So I really like that. Down here I have an extra big canvas, and then back here it's just like cardboard, and then this is like extra wood sticks pieces that I have planned for a project. And then here is, um, this is where I keep like extra plastic bags. <laughs> I like this Jelly Belly bag, it's just cute. So here I have my, this is a dry erase board that I keep like ideas on. Then I have my ironing board, which is really ugly, but you know, it's one of those necessary things. And then of course I have my uh, Pokemon paintings that I did maybe sometime last year. I just think they're super fun. <laughs> I forgot to go over my Harry Potter posters up here. Yeah, so I have my Harry Potter posters here. Um, back here, I did a painting of Hogwarts with the dark mark. So, there's that. Uh, down here below that, I just keep my easel. I have my big easel, and then I have a small easel that's a tabletop. So I have those up, um, just back behind the door here that I get out. Um, when I'm painting, so otherwise it's just where they're stored. It's right here because it's the only place for it. Only place I can fit it. And then um, there's a big map of the U.S. and I have like pictures of my friends and then my dollhouse and that. So I'm just going to kind of pan around one more time. I forgot to show you, down here under my sewing machine is where I keep my jewelry supplies. So I have like all jewelry supplies in here and y'all it's a mess in there so I'm not even going to open it. And then this is like where I keep findings and jewelry tools and stuff like that. And then over here is like extra batting and like just random stuff like a bucket for dyeing. And... Anyway, <laughs> lots of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this tour. Let me know if you want me to go over anything again, I could probably do that sometime in the future, but that's pretty much the bulk of it. But I'm glad I finally have it organized. It took me forever to get this all organized, and I still rearrange it constantly. You're probably going to see things change in the future videos, because I decide it should be better, it would be better a different way, or, you know, I change containers that I put things in, especially if I, like, DIY a container or something like that, then I'll make a new container for... <laughs> my thread or a new container for my buttons or something so I'm constantly rearranging I mean there's nothing wrong with that I think that's just kind of how I am so yeah I hope I hope you like this if you did give it a thumbs up let me know what you thought let me know I don't know what else to say about that I don't know if this is embarrassing or cool so I'm gonna end this video because I'm sweating I need to turn the air conditioner back on I turned it off for this video because it was noisy but anyway it's really hot but I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was fun giving you a tour, um, and thank you again for the inspiration to do it so I could get this place clean, and hopefully I can keep it that way. And I'll see you on the next video. Love you guys. Bye.